Yeah, I, I thought our guys wrestled pretty hard. I thought that uh, we were the aggressor team. Um, you know, there's some matches I would have liked to see gone the other way, but I think overall we won 25 or 27 to 11. What was it? 27, 26. It was somewhere in there, but it was a, it was more you know a lot more than they had is what it comes down to. So I was pretty happy with that. And uh, at this point, we just got to keep working through through our schedule. You had a, there was a couple of matches in there, the match with uh, Max match and Tommy's match too, and even Caleb's match, a lot of close matches out there. How the, do you feel about the way you The four the matches match? are probably Max, um, Cars, Car was down six to two. Um, Tommy's, I think Tommy was pretty much in control of his match the whole time though. Like I said, these guys don't do a whole lot. They want to try to squeak out wins at the end of the, the, the end of the, the periods or the end of the, you know, they want to just try to keep it close and, and snake us, we call it. But I thought our guys were more aggressive. I thought we wrestled harder. I thought that, um, our young guys are learning to win, which are real important, and uh, our older guys do what we expect them to do is what it came down to. And um, also, too, I think there's a diff definitely a different feel when you're wrestling definitely at home as opposed to away. So, you know, how does it feel for you and the guys to, you know, come back and have that crowd behind you? Well, it was a great crowd. Like I said, it's nothing, you know, it's a Friday night in Northeast Ohio, and there's a lot of other wrestling going on, and we had, we had a good amount of people there. So I was excited with the crowd. I think our guys enjoyed it. It just shows that, you know, Kansas State Athletics are – are doing the right thing and as a wrestling team people are coming out to support us which is important at least for me as a coach and I think our guys really do appreciate the crowds that we do get and that we've gotten over the last few years. Tommy, can you just kind of walk us through your two takedowns tonight? Uh, yeah, uh, um, Moss has really been helping me uh, ever since this year. Um, ever since they pulled me out of red shirt, uh, especially with my game plan with uh, you know not giving up early takedowns and hand fighting and uh, wearing the guy down. So. That's really about what we've been working on. So, and then how about actually converting those those takedowns? He, he got in on shots on you. Just kind of tell us. I I'm I'm just always comfortable in that situation. It's real weird. I I don't know, but when it comes down to takedowns, Jimmy's been getting on me with uh, getting to the outside, and uh, you know ultimately that's what we've been working on for the past week, and uh, I think that's what helped me. I think at this point, someone like Tommy, Tommy knows he's going to wrestle his way. We just have to make sure the little things that he isn't doing or the things that we improve, we just keep improving throughout the, you know, as far as at this point. We're not going to teach him anything new at this point. He's a fifth year senior. He knows how we do things. Um, it's just making sure the little things where he has opportunities to score that he gets them. And like I said, Tommy did a good job. I thought he, I thought he out wrestled the kid. I thought he was more physical. I thought he, you know, made the guy squeal a few times, which is always nice. And uh, just did a good job. Overall, did a really good job today. Talk about being on on top on top position. You seem to maintain. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it's pretty much uh, just try to get a turn and uh, wear the guy out. Uh, I slipped up a little bit and kind of got put to my back, but you know, nothing to freak out. So. Okay. Good job, buddy. Got anything for Nick here? Down six to two. What, uh, what's going through your mind at that time? Um, at that point, I basically uh, can't freak out and you know worry about losing. I got to focus on just scoring points and winning and getting points for the team. And um, you know, ended up doing it and pulling it out. Uh, you know, I shouldn't have been there in the first place. It was unacceptable, but you know, it happened. And and uh, you know, I guess got to work from. Know that and learn from my mistakes. I think I, I, for whatever reason, I was never even really worried about his match. I know that I, I thought he, I, I knew going into it what that kid was good at, and I knew what, what Nick was good at, but I was never really concerned about losing. For whatever reason, I just felt that the kid would get tired, first of all, because we wrestled before he got tired. And, I, and Nick's one of those guys that sometimes takes a little bit to get going into his matches. Um, the biggest thing with Nick is we just have to look, get him to wrestle at one level all the time. He kind of goes down with the competition a little bit and squeaked out a, a close one against a guy that I think he's a lot better than. But that's part of being a freshman and just learning as we go. And uh, um, But for whatever reason, I was never even really nervous that match. I, I, I always felt that he'd come back and he'd win or find a way to win that match. And he did. And uh, you know, I think that if, we could have probably got another takedown in that period if we really had to. At least that was my opinion. I think we were rode a little bit longer than we needed to. Um, we let him ride for, for a little bit at there. And then when we did go, I thought we were going to take down. And I think that if we had to get another one at some point in that third period, we would have if we had to. So I think 
I was pretty happy with everything, the way everything worked out. It just took a long time to get that match to go go Nick's way. Nick, can you talk about that last takedown that appeared set head up? Um, yeah, uh, I was just, you know, pressuring in. I knew I had to get a takedown to win. I knew I had rotting time. I knew if I got the takedown, I saw how much rotting time I had, that it would put me, you know, tied up plus the rotting time up one. Um, you know, and then the next thing I know is in my leg, I cut the corner, and then we got a little scramble. I had to finish, and I did. And uh, you know, that's basic. I wasn't. I, I, you can't freak out in those situations because if you do, then it won't go your way. You kind of got to keep calm and focus on scoring points and getting that win. So, but um, like Coach said, uh, yeah, I, I, I start off kind of slow, and I start picking it up as the uh, match goes on. And uh, that match, I started off real slow, as you could tell. And I was a little disappointed in myself after that match because I wasn't even sweating coming off the mat. I usually come off drenched and breathing heavy. And I may look tired out there, but it's, those are just the nerves. I, like, I never got tired at one point in that match. And, you know, I should have got a better workout in that match and beat that kid a lot worse. But what happened happened. We got the win, and that's all that matters. Move on. Nick, I saw that um, when you were walking, when it, the score got up to about 6-2, I, I could see your face, you know, when you were walking towards where I was. You, you seemed like you got really discouraged and got yourself worked up, like you said. So not e not even just mentally or on the mat, but attitude-wise, how did you change your attitude in order to turn the match around? Um, I knew I had to kind of stay calm from that situation because once I start uh, getting upset and I start getting sporadic and and I don't set up shots well, and I start kind of wasting energy, and it, it kind of, it's all, it's, it's all actually negative if I get in that kind of mindset. So I, I knew I had to kind of relax, take a deep breath, understand, you know, I'm losing, but, you know, I could definitely come back. I knew the kid, would, the kid was tired. I could tell when I was riding him, and I knew I was going to beat him. So. Look like you were able to, you were able to weather the storm against Tassari in Ohio State. Tonight you weren't able to weather the storm against Romanchuk. He kept taking those shots, those left-handed single legs, locking his legs, hanging out for about five or ten seconds, and then just sucking your leg in. What was different? Was his leverage weird? What was going on? Why couldn't you fend those shots off early in the first period? Um, <laughs> I guess I'd, um, I guess first of all, I shouldn't have let him into my leg in the first place. And when he got it in, I got I got to work in those positions. Uh, I usually turn the corner, and um, work from there. My coach has been having me work on face centering up with the person and getting my hips back. Uh, the kid, the only reason he got the takedown was because he was locking his hands. When he got the hands locked, he would, he would, lap, he would um, you know, I just kept my hips back. I'm like, okay, stalemate. And the next thing you know, he's picking it up. I'm like, oh, he got the takedown. Was he kind of lulling you, lulling you to sleep with that, like locking his hands, pausing for five seconds, Wait then sucking it in? Yep. So it's kind of, it almost felt like his, and his body frame, he's got a, a lanky body frame, so it's kind of a bad matchup for you, I thought, uh, frame-wise at least. Yeah, I don't do well against long guys. Uh, Coach, what are you thinking when Nick's out there and it looks like the wind's completely out of his sails? I mean, he's doing the uh, the stroll back to the center, almost like the cool kid. I'm out of juice. Stroll back to the center in the first period. What, what, the funny is, you already misses, but I actually felt pretty comfortable all the way through. It was a weird feeling, but I knew I I, I felt that he was going to win the match at, at all points. I wasn't nervous after the first period. After the second period, I want to say he got away and got a takedown. I was still pretty comfortable at that point. You know, like I said, I think we had a strategy. It seems like they all wrestle the same way, and the only time our guys got into trouble is when we were attacking, it seemed like. Um, you know, for a guy, I could tell you, we got in trouble when we attacked, but I thought we were the better team as far as riding. I thought we were the better team as far as getting away. Um, it, it, just went, it was a situation where, you know, the kid had one shot, and, and until Nick really figured out what he did in the third period, you know, if he would wrestle like that the whole match, it wouldn't have been a close match, in my opinion. Because, like I said, when they wrestled before, I think you beat them pretty good. So it was just... Sometimes it's harder for our guys to, you know, it's, it's just a different style of wrestling, I think. And I don't know how to, I think our guys are all attacking so much and it just, it becomes hard after a while when, when, you're, when you're the aggressor and guys are, they're backing up, working to the, the edge of the mat or just trying to go up your, you know, Mac McGuire, I don't think the kid took a shot on Mac McGuire, but he scored, he got a back set of back points, he got a takedown all off Mac, Mac shots. And like I said, our young guys are aggressive, which you want them to be, but at the same sense, there comes a point where you have to tell them, hey, listen, make them come at you, make them attack you. And, things we're working on. We have a really young team. You take away our, our older guys, and we're dealing with five freshmen for the most part. And uh, um, 
you know, they're learning how to win, which is real important. And they're getting to watch one of the best guys in the country wrestle. And like I said, we re we redshirted two of our best guys on our team right now. And I think we're, we have a bright future. And this, if there's any time for a down year, this was it. I think next year, we said it from the get-go going in this year, next year I think we'll have a better team than we do right now. But we're, we're getting these young guys to, to, to learn how to win, which is really important. Nick, what do you got to do between now and uh, March to, to, to see yourself in Des Moines, Iowa at the NCAA tournament? I just got to keep working hard. Uh, I need to keep my weight under control. Um, this was actually the first match where my weight wasn't under control, and uh, I had some trouble making it. Uh, I just got to keep my eyes focused on you know each one match at a time and one practice at a time, and just keep getting you know I got to get a couple more good wins and going into the MAC tournament. Obviously, I have to do well in that in order to get into the national tournament. So eating healthy, you know, good sleep focusing on wrestling and that's all. Okay, Coach, what do you got to do between now, you know, your formula for him, he just gave the formula for him, but what's your formula for maximum amount five plus qualifiers for the Kent State Golden Flash? What do you guys got to do? Is there anything you got to change? For our team, I just, we need to get better. We, our young guys need to get better. Someone like Sam Wheeler needs to learn how to win a scramble. You know, he's wrestled that kid three times now and I don't think he's won a scramble yet on him and, you know, that's a key. If you look at all the other scrambles, we won because our guys are really aggressive and we wear them down. But, you know, someone like that, I think at heavyweight, Keith Wood is, is, just isn't – he's not a heavyweight. He wrestled 74 for three years ago. Now he's up to heavyweight. He's, he's struggling at that position, but he fights real hard and he's in our starting lineup, which I think is important for him being a 50-year senior. Um, Luke Kern is a freshman. Like I said, we got a guy named Tyler Small. I think started off the season ranked six in the country. We decided to redshirt him. It gives Luke a great opportunity to be on a, a very good team and to learn and to, to gain, gain some great experience for two, three years down the road for him. Um, you know, as, as far as, I don't know, well, uh, besides Sam, Sam needs to just wrestle through positions. Wrestle, wrestle through positions. He Got thinks that, you know, he's strong, big, strong guy. When he gets single legs, the guys are just going to fall for him. It doesn't work like that at this level. And uh, I mean, he needs to pick up his intensity. The rest of our guys, we just need to keep on getting better. I think, I think ultimately it's starting to show, um, you know, we, someone like Nick and, and, the funny thing about someone like Caleb Marsh is he's beaten a lot of good kids, but he hasn't ranked yet. I don't know why. I don't, you know, it's the second time he's beaten that kid. That kid's ranked. Um, Sass has beaten three ranked kids now, and he still isn't showing up in any rankings. Maybe it's because we just put him on a red shirt. So we got we have guys that can wrestle. Um, so we just got to keep on doing what we're doing, hopefully beat some more ranked guys before the end of the year and go into the MAC, the MAC tournament and do the best we can. Hopefully that, you know, between the, all the all eight teams now, we'll bring some qualifiers. Nick, do you feel this rivalry anymore? Coach Andrew doesn't seem to think it's a rivalry because he's dominated in his coaching tenure here. But do you feel the rivalry of Ohio University? You said that, not me. I said this. I just, <laughs> I just, I'm just reading from my phone when I read that. But do, do you feel that? Uh, do you feel the rivalry with Ohio University? No. You're from Pennsylvania, I guess. Yeah, I don't even know what's going on. I just knew a wrestling OU. I'm like, all right, it's just a wrestling team. I, I, you know, I don't feel the rivalry that he. I mean, he made it a. He made it seem like it was a rivalry, but I, I've only been here for two years, and you know, last year was a way match. I didn't get to go watch, so I didn't get to experience that, um, and so I don't really, I'm not really familiar with the, the team. So, Coach Anderson, do, do you feel the rivalry between you and Ohio University? It's a good match. I, like I said, I don't. Um, I, I know you're trying to suck me into saying saying things, Zeb. So I'll just, uh, <laughs> I, you know, I don't know. We, we've wrestled. I've been head coach for ten years now. Um, We've wrestled them 11 times because we wrestled in the Virginia duels, and I think we're 10-1 and one against them. So we're just going to keep doing what we're doing. This was supposed to be a down year when we started redshirting guys, and we're still one of the teams that, you know, like I said, we go to Central Michigan in two weeks, and I think we can go there and we can figure out a way to upset them because we got some guys that can score some points. Um, so it's one of those things where our hope is now to, to win a, a regular season dual meet, and we've won two of the MAC, term, MAC, term, two of the MAC matches that we've had. We have Central next. That's all I really know. I don't really worry about rivalries. And right now, I think that the way us and Central have gone, that's been a pretty good rivalry over the last few years. And you think we're going to go up there again? It might be for the MAC championship again. So we'll see. Last thing I want to ask you: You've lost some recruiting battles to Ohio University. Does that feel kind of like how you feel towards them? I think that's probably where the biggest rivalry comes. We lose all kinds of recruits to them. It seems like any time we're recruiting the same guy, we lose. We lose to them. And you know. That's fine. I can. I'll lose every recruiting battle in the world. That doesn't. That's not. Not. That's not where you're, they're keeping track of things. I don't know. Like I said, if you took at all the guys we've lost and compared to them, there's dozens, um, maybe hundreds. But the bottom line is, I'm, I'm ten and one against them in dual meets 
and uh, those are the matches I'm concerned about. Yeah, I'd like to get some of those recruits. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to keep going after them. We're going to fight a lot. Whatever it may be, like I said, I do things a certain way, and I want kids that want to do it my way, and I think if they buy into what we're selling them, we'll do fine with who we get.